Hi there, my name is David Knorr. I'm an author of Relationship Economics, Return and Impact, and most recently co-create. I wanna welcome you back to the Leadership Insights newsletter, where on a consistent basis, I try to share insightful ideas from my consulting coaching work that I thought might be useful to you. In this session, I wanna talk about this idea of strategic relationship influencer campaign. Here's the challenge. I walk into a lot of client companies and I ask and in our conversations, it comes up that you know, somebody makes a statement that we have a fantastic relationship with our customers. And my response is, how do you know? And well, they buy from us. Well, that's really not the right cause and effect. Or conversely, you go into a client company and you hear or you experience that we really don't have as great of those strategic executive relationships that we should. So three ideas that I want you to think about. One is needs-based segmentation. Unfortunately, a lot of companies create one size fits all, one size value, one size strategies, one size approaches. You really gotta more and more focus on the fine tuned personas and needs of that customer segment, that executive relationship segment. What is it that they need from you today? More importantly, how do we really become astute in anticipating what they'll need from you in the future, number one. Number two, this idea of net promoter score, which is keeping your finger on the pulse of what's happening, well, that's just a number. And the surveys, I, I, I detest because they don't really give you any insights. What's incredibly valuable beyond those lagging indicators are leading drivers, uh, sentiment analysis, social, anything that's predictive. How do we, with a high degree of confidence, identify customers or employees that are at risk? How do we identify those that have more upside potential? Needs-based segmentation and sentiment analysis are two ideas in really getting ahead of what your relationships may need from you. The last thing is this idea of micro offerings. So again, uh, a lot of companies create massive products and services that can scale. Uh, a lot of uh, repeatable execution box type services or products or, and they offer those to everybody. We're finding that if you identify the unique needs of this audience and you have a sentiment analysis of what they need and what they anticipate needing in the future, creating micro offerings, a subset of all that you bring to the table, might be exactly what you need to get them more engaged and start influencing their thinking and their call to action. My name is David Knorr. I'm an author of Relationship Economics, Return and Impact, and Co-Create. I hope this has been useful to you and you'll continue to come back and learn from these leadership insights.